what is up 47 it's your boy shake 47 the king of universe 47 and today i'm doing something kind of new so if you guys saw the community page my community post on my channel i said i was gonna attempt to do a what if and if you guys have been on my channel i have attempted a couple what ifs and i think only one of them has ever been completed that is unfortunately the sad truth only because i wasn't able to continue with the story and it was my own fault but this one, I really hope that I'm able to finish, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Please consider subscribing and leaving a like, and let me know what you guys think. Now, this is this what if is based on a character that one isn't even canon, and two only exists within the game. Yeah, and if you guys have played Naruto Storm Connections, then you guys know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about none other than Hikari Uchiha. This is a what if based off of what if Hikari survived after the fight with Mert. If you guys enjoy, once again, please don't forget to like, and share, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of the story. On top of that, I have said this before, I think I said it in the description, that I know next to nothing about Boruto in the, the anime, right? I know who his father is, I know like very small details about Boruto, but depending on how this goes, and depending on how you guys enjoy it, I will go and do my research and we'll see exactly just how far I can take this story. But without further ado, majority of this is going to be just my own headcanon. So I hope you guys still enjoy it nonetheless. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And without further ado, let's see what happens in this what if. After a hard fought battle against Merits and actually finally putting a stop to Zero, Naruto, Sasuke, and Boruto stood there. Somewhat speechless, they had finally stopped Zero's plan and saved Nanashi. Or, so they had hoped. Boruto had rushed over to tell Nanashi that she was free, but he saw her lying on the ground. Her body, limp. She was slowly losing consciousness. He knew if something didn't happen soon, if he could not act fast enough, Nanashi would die. Naruto and Sasuke looked at each other both realizing that they don't have enough chakra to do anything. Boruto himself looks down to the ground, tears slowly starting to come out of his eyes. There must be something that he can do. Anything. He doesn't want his friend to die. Sasuke looks down at the young boy and thinks, there might just be one more way to save Nanashi. He can use the last of his chakra reserves and open a portal using his Renegon. Afterwards, both him and Nanashi can step forward. That's all his chakra can do for now. The portal will lead to his house. There he should find Sakura. Ask her for help. That's the best that he can do for now. Hoping that Sakura can heal the young girl, Boruto picks her up in his arms and walks through the portal that Sasuke had made using his Renegon. Boruto successfully made it back to the Leaf Village and where he met Sakura. Sakura was taken aback. She was confused. Why was Boruto coming through a portal? And why, who was he holding? Boruto had told her that there was no time for questions and that she desperately needed to get to work on healing this girl. Sakura was confused, but could tell that the girl was dying. And if she didn't act fast, well then, she was as good as dead. Sakura quickly got to work. Boruto sat there, hoping that Wondering if there was anything that he could do, Sakura just told him to just be patient, and to just wait. And if he could, go and check on his mother and his sister, make sure everything else is fine. Sakura needed to work, and if Boruto kept asking her questions, then she couldn't. Boruto understood, and begrudgingly went out the door. After some time, Sakura was able to actually stabilize Ikari. But still, it was only temporary. The girl was badly damaged. She needed to get to a hospital. She asked Boruto, once he came back inside, if everything was okay. As far as he knows, everybody's still on their way back from the quote-unquote fifth great ninja war. Sakura was taken aback about everything that had happened, but glad to realize that everything's okay thanks to her husband and Naruto. Boruto was relieved as well, but... He couldn't be too relaxed. He was still worried about her. 
He didn't know what was going to happen to Hikari or even if she could make it. The damage that Meritz did to her was just too much. And then her shouting gun on top of that, with Meritz using it against her, the ability of the Yachihoko, it was too much to bear. And if what they said is true, Hikari might not wake up. And even if she does, her eyesight is badly damaged. Before she went down, completely at least, she couldn't see Boruto. So, who's to say that she'll be able to see him again, even after she's completely healed? Sakura could see the amount of worry that was on the boy's face, and reminded him to have hope. Everything's going to be fine. What needs to happen now is to get Ikari to a hospital. Boruto, still worried and still unable to get out of his head, was able to listen, nodded, and picked her up. With that, they headed off to the medical ward. Once there, Sakura used every bit of medical ninjutsu to make sure that Hikari could make it. Boruto waited patiently out in the waiting room. Hours had passed. It seemed like they were, it was an eternity. Though, while he was waiting, Sarada and Mitsuki finally joined up with him. Naruto and Sasuke as well. Even though that the Naruto that was there was just a shadow clone, considering the real him is still dealing with a lot of other things and having to deal with the commotion of what was happening with the other villages. Everybody had already been checked up by Medic Ninja, so everybody's fine. But Sarada and Mitsuki are still worried about Boruto, and Boruto is still worried about Hikari. A few more hours pass, still not a word from Sakura yet, or any other Medic Ninja. Boruto begins to worry, and begins to think the worst. What if she never sees again? What if she can never do anything again? What if she doesn't make it? Sarada instinctively puts her hand on his shoulder and tells him that Hikari is strong. She's, first of all, she's not even like us. She's from another time period, and not to mention she's been through a lot, so she's tough. Mitsuki does his best to comfort him as well, but considering how things go, he's still not really the best with understanding sadness or emotional things. All he can say and do is to remind Boruto that he can he needs to keep his head up, and that no matter what, they'll be by his side. After that little short talk, Boruto was able to get out of his head just for what seemed like a moment. And at the last minute, a couple hours later, Sakura finally steps out. She looks at Boruto and the others. She looks Sasuke in his eye. And she holds up a thumbs up with a smile on her face, saying that Hikari Uchiha is stable. Boruto was elated to hear this news. She was going to be okay. A deep sigh was let out from Boruto's mouth, not realizing just how much breath he was holding in. And then, all of a sudden, tears started to flow out of his eyes. He didn't realize just how much emotion he was suppressing. Sarada and Mitsuki made sure their friend was okay. They wanted to make sure that he knew that no matter what happened, that they'd be there by his side. He appreciated them both. Sasuke just nodded and smirked, knowing that Boruto and the others would be fine. He decided to go t join up with Naruto. Before leaving, he tells Sakura thanks, and that he'll be home later on tonight. With that, the Shadow Hokage himself has left. Boruto has asked Sakura if they could see her. She nodded, but reminded him, she's stable, but she's still not conscious, so don't expect too much. Boruto nodded his head and understood. With that, the three friends went in and saw Hikari. She was peaceful for the first time in a long while, though she was still badly injured. She was at peace right now, no pain. Everything that Sakura had used was able to numb the pain and was able to at least make her feel stable and comfortable 
Boruto asked if she knew how long it would be before Hikari awoke him, and Sakura honestly couldn't give him a time frame. She was badly injured, not to mention she still doesn't even know if she'll be able to use her eyes anymore. That last bit of chakra that Merits used was too much. She may be permanently blind. Boruto didn't care though, so long as the girl was safe. That's all he wanted. Well guys, that's gonna do it for part one of this what if. Please let me know what you guys think about it, this so far in the comment section down below. And also, how do you guys want the story to go? I'm gonna try and do my best to make it the way I think it should go, but I also want some input. This is the first time I've ever gone this deep, especially into an anime that I'm still learning about, and I, the roadmap is just completely off the rails. So getting some feedback would be great. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And also, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you guys haven't yet, please go ahead and check out the Discord. Link is in the description. And will probably also be the pinned comment. So, if you guys want to join and also get some feedback from you guys and also want to hang out. Or ever just want to uh, just join and meet people like you. Go ahead and hit up the Discord. Well, without further ado, my name is JK47, the king of Universe 47. And I hope you guys have a great day. Deuces.